All right, well, here we are again. We're gonna fire up the grill, and today we're gonna to cook some pork. And, of course, we're gonna have a cigar. And beer. But for today, I'm going to try a uh, Cuban Rounds Toro. It has a natural wrapper. This is this is a, a budget cigar, and I've seen rich, mixed reviews on it. Some say it's really good, especially for the price. Some say it's total and complete crap. We're gonna find out. I got my oop. Let me show you all this. My Calibri cutter that I've been using lately. I really like it because with this cutter, I can actually cut cigars with my right hand. And like I said in other videos for me, that's a big deal. This is actually a, a nice looking cigar. Well, the veins are kind of prominent on it, but it's not all that bad. It does have a nice neat double cap on it. Well, slightly barnyardy smelling. But that's a good thing. Let me get this thing in my hand. Okay, I think I got it. Go ahead and cut it. Ugh. That thing cracked all over the place. I hope it holds together. Oh my goodness. I hope the binder holds because that's the only thing on this end of this cigar that's left. But well, we're going to find out. I'm going to go ahead and light up the soft flame. Uh huh. I'm going to switch hands here. And we'll see how this one goes. Now, on my last video when I was grilling, I was talking about Memorial Day. And uh, today is actually Memorial Day. And now we should all remember what Memorial Day is about. And as far as I'm concerned, that applies for today also. It's all about remembering the servicemen and women who made the ultimate sacrifice to bring us these freedoms and I gotta use a different lighter. Got my just in case here. And uh they Gave the ultimate sacrifice so we can enjoy the freedoms that we have today. Now that um, binder seems to be holding, but fortunately it's all the way down at the end here. I hope it doesn't start unraveling on me, because if it does, well, you know, I'll get what I can out of this cigar. And if it gets too bad or the wrapper gets too bad on it, then I can just toss it aside. But so far, so good. That's not a bad cigar at all. That's smooth. I guess if I took and I licked the end of it before I cut it, <laughs> that could help prevent that from cracking like that. I don't know if you can see where that cap is gone now. And I cut it well, well outside the, uh, the upper cap. But that is a nice, smooth, mellow cigar. I might look at. I might have to look into and get some of these. They got an excellent price on them, and just for smoking, I guess we're going to see how the rest of it burns. But so far, so good. 
Well, now, now you know what time it is. It's time to go out and fire up that grill. We'll see you out there in a second. All right, we're about 15 minutes in. Got the fire lit. Cigar is still going fine. Um, fur line is a little bit wavy. And if it gets much worse, I might have to touch it up, but so far, so good. Binder's holding, and it's a pretty good smoke. Well, I'm going to let that fire burn down a little bit, work on my cigar, drink some more beer, and we're going to get some pork, some pork cooking on that grill. See y'all in a minute. It's not ready yet, but the way I'm doing this is... um. I'm using some leftover charcoal that looks like it's still got some life in it. And I put some new charcoal on there. And I'm going to let that burn down and ash over. And when it does, I've got these charcoals over here that I'm going to add to it right before I put the grate on. And then uh, those will actually produce more smoke. That's my theory anyway, is I put the fresh ones on there. I put the meat on there and then they're going to make more smoke up into the meat. Um, I hope it works. Because <laughs> they are, um, they're hickory charcoal briquettes. And what's cool is you can actually see the bits of wood embedded in the charcoal. And it does. If you could smell that hickory smoke burning right now, that does smell really good. Well, I'm going to work on this cigar some more, drink some more beer, and maybe sometime uh, a little bit later, we're going to throw some pork on there. Oh, my wife prepared some kebabs, some uh, Brussels sprout, and let's see now. I think it's, um, she made some Brussels sprout and onion kebabs for me. I like onion. And she made some, a uh, little bit of tobacco. Kind of a nasty crusty end there because it cracked and the wrapper is starting to mess up. But anyway, I digress. She made some, uh, let's see, Brussels sprouts and um, carrot kebabs for her. And we had those marinating overnight in, I think it was... Um, garlic and herb chipotle garlic and herb spice with olive oil so we're going to see how those come out today we'll see y'all in a minute well i got this to say this cigar is both surprising and delighting me it's an excellent cigar i think it's like under two dollars each it's smooth i don't get any harshness out of it I got a little bit of spice on the retro hail. I left it sitting here, went in the house for a few minutes, came back out. Like nothing at all. Now, right now, I'm like uh, basically topped out on cigars. So, I won't be getting any more of these anytime soon. But um, when I start running down, and I go to order cigars, I'm going to find some of these. I think, um, I think Cigars International has them. I've got this one, the Toro, in the natural, with the natural wrapper. And I also have a Robusto with a uh, Connecticut wrapper. I'm going to try that one on Tuesday. Tomorrow, actually. I'm going to have a porch cigar. I'm going to sit down with it and try it. That's just a good cigar. Now, to get on with the grilling, over here, I got my wife's kebabs ready, and like I said, they've been marinating, and um, they're going to be really yummy, so <laughs> I'm going to give that just a little bit more time to burn, brush the grill off with my new non-bristle grill brush 
See, I've used it a few times already. Plop them kebabs on there and let them cook for a little while and then throw the, uh, throw the pork on. And we'll get to grilling. By the way, on this cigar, I haven't had to touch it up. Sometimes it burns like it's wavy, but it corrects itself. If it was just weren't for that cap falling apart, it'd Let's be check excellent. Out those kebab. Oh, look at that. Woo! Well, I'm going to take some of this stuff and put it on some of that stuff. This should be kind of fun. I kind of figured that would happen. That's okay, it'll burn down. That's uh, olive oil and spices there, so. Whew, we'll come back to these kebabs in a minute. Well, them kebabs look done to me. I got the pork on, and it's starting to cook. And the spices I'm going to use on that I have found that chicken spices work well on pork. So I got me some cake and chicken, some Montreal chicken, and since I like rub sage, I'm going to put a little rub sage on it. We're going to flip them once and then put some Italian seasoning on the other side. And they're going to come out oh so yummy. Let me get to spicing them things and we'll cook them up. By the way, the cigar is still burning great. I just wanted to, wanted to show you the smoke pouring out of this thing. Look at there. And check this out. Whoa! You know what? That pork looks about ready to flip. Let me, these are a minute or two, then, then it's ready to go. Let me uh, close this thing up. And we'll cook it some more. Alright, we got the kebabs done. Let's see how they look. Oh yeah, look at there. Got a little bit of a scorch on there because it flared up when I dumped that uh, spiced up oil on it. But that's okay. Crusty bits are sometimes the yummiest bits. And over here, we got the porky choppies. And now... We're going to sit down and eat them. And we'll see you all next time.